Good morning and welcome to the Undersea uh, Voyager Project debut. I'm Bob Alberto, the uh, Vice President of uh, UVP, and it is my uh, great pleasure to introduce uh, Scott Cassell. Scott is best known for his uh, pioneering uh, research uh, on the uh, Humboldt squid. He has spent the last 10 years developing techniques to safely dive with these uh, animals in their environment and has documented their behavior for millions in numerous documentary uh, television uh, programs. So this is a man who is uh, more at home underwater than he is above it. Please welcome the Undersea Voyager Project's founder and president, Captain Scott Cassell. Good morning, everybody. Thank you very much for coming. The Undersea Voyager Project is truly designed to take man into the ocean so that we can see what we've never seen before. The Earth itself, if you look at the land, we've seen almost all of it. 99% of it or more has been visited. Underwater, we've only seen 2%. Today, we're not only viewing the project, we have also recently uh, refurbished the great white submersible uh, behind you. Say hello, Eldico. There she is. There's her, one of our pilots. This was uh, refurbished back on the uh, East Coast in Maryland. What you see behind you is the equivalent of our Mercury capsule. Uh, this is a proof of concept uh, activity where we're going to be diving this sub, uh, learning about what it takes to do long transects. We're going to have a number of pilots and crew involved in these activities. Uh, what we learned from this Mercury capsule mission, our, uh, the Great White Submersible, teaches what we need to know for future missions. Here is, once again, Captain Scott Cassell. I didn't see you sneak up behind me. How'd you get down here? I stuck around the back. So, good morning, everybody. Thank you so much for being here and seeing uh, the, the uh, debut of our project, Undersea Voyager. Um, the thing about Undersea Voyager project is that we actually are going to put people in the water and make people explorers once again instead of remote-controlled vehicles and things of that nature. I mean, the really case in point here is how many of you remember where you were when you first saw Neil Armstrong walking on the moon, if you're old enough to witness that? So the Undersea Voyager Project is designed to inspire kids that being a science, oh well, I am a science guy, but I'm, I am kind of a nerd, but I have fun doing what I do. And that's the secret. Kids like to do what is exciting to them. Did any of you guys like dinosaurs when you were kids? Yeah. Or, or monsters? You know, or my dinosaurs were giant squid. And that's what inspired me, because every kid needs their monsters. People need their demons in the closet. It inspires imagination to happen. Well, I've actually come face to face with them. And I'm very honored to say that they are as magnificent in real life as they are on Hollywood silver screen. The difference is you feel things a little differently when you're actually there. And so when you get kids involved in being scientists, because we actually do have undiscovered monsters, We've just discovered within the past 20 years of a 4,000 pound squid in Antarctica called Mesenokaituthis hamiltoni. That's twice the size of the giant squid. I mean, you gotta admit, that's cool. And all of this is simply because I like it. Everybody here can do anything that they want to do. There is no limit, it's just a choice. Thank you. I couldn't be happier for being here.